Mike Deej wanted a place in his own home where he could get away from the kids. So Jason and I kicked the kids' toys out of the basement and replaced it with a man cave. We installed the chair rail, shadow boxes, and painted the walls with three separate colors to give Mike some visual depth and a classy look. The bar turned out amazing and brings home the nautical feel Mike asked for. Mike even gave Jason a hand with the shelves, and their finished product brings the dull corner to life. The 50-inch TV, new carpet, surround sound, and aquatic pictures complete Mike's man cave. What do you think? A little different, isn't it? Oh, my God. Come on, come on in front. The first reaction is there's just so much to see and so much to take in that it's so overwhelming, but everything I was looking at, I just was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God, look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look, oh, my God. I don't think I've ever heard this, so many oh my gods or wows uh, on a reveal. Oh you my god! See, oh my god! Oh my the first thing that really sets this whole thing off is the shadow boxes and the chair rail, which really gives it a rich look. The paint that you see is actually a faux finish. It almost looks like a suede it's finish beautiful. on it. Oh, oh, Jason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh my god! Now this, uh, our boys uh, Sal and Mark did a great job on the bar. When he finally came down there and saw what we were able to put together for him, and all the toys gone, and he has an area of his own and a space that he can go and relax and, and be a guy. I think that it really touched something in his heart where he was, like, overwhelmed. Take a seat on your new couch. Oh, my God. A little leather. A little leather. Am I able to do this? Am I, am I, yeah, am yeah, I allowed to do this right here? Kid me and say, man, Kate, put your feet up. Babe, bring me down a sandwich. She's right here, man. She's right here. Well, I was just uh, role-playing. Uh, you have surround sound. I really tried to go and get Jason to, like, put, like, an indoor pool here so you can, like, get your little, <laughs> you know, little rubber ducky, but he just wouldn't go Still for it, man. Shark. I'm never going to get you out of this Yeah, no. No, I really don't yeah. think you're Well, that's, that's, that's the idea. <laughs> Mike gets to go relax, watch a ball game, but when Janine comes home, maybe they can spend some time together because this is something that I think they're really going to enjoy, and they were blown out of the water. Uh-oh, Mike, you better not lose it to her. <laughs> <laughs> this is a man cave. Yeah, this is man cave. Honey, oh, this, no, is, no, this, this is, is a man, man cave. Yeah. Oh, really? Men don't cry. This is a man cave. Yeah, yeah. So we're all I, a man. There you go. Listen, you got a lot of friends and family. I'm going to bring them down. Friends and family! Do you like it? Nothing. I do, too. I mean, I really do. I didn't think I was going to love it, because it's a man cave. I might, like, hang out down here. <laughs> Are you allowed in a man cave? I think so. I have to ask Tony if that's allowed. I don't know if he's ever going to leave the room, and if he does, the only reason he's going to leave is because Janine kicked him out. She was already looking to see where she was going to put her stuff, so... Good luck, Mike. Thank you, Man Cave. Thank you, everyone. I'm extremely happy right now. Well, listen, enjoy it. Me and Jason are getting out of here. Thanks, brother. Are you kidding me? So yeah, much. Man. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, go enjoy right, it, go man. Enjoy contractor Josh Temple is using the DIY Network Test House to show you how to plan for a catastrophe before it happens. So hot! Don't miss a second of Disaster House. All new Disaster House, Wednesday night at 10.30 on DIY Network. My Garage. 